you guys watch our YouTube channel? I am subscribed. I watch every day. Always think positive. Do you make videos? Yeah, um, me and my father do. Do you? And <laughs> and what do you make them about? Um, we make them like positive news stories and stuff oh. in a not so positive world. Well, we should probably all subscribe to that, right, everybody? Make it so special. So thank you so much for allowing me. <laughs> Um, Trent is having the kids when they come home or not, you know. Do you ever just sit around and do tunes? And... No. Because they've changed, haven't they? Yeah. You know? It's not like just doing it with your kid anymore. Right, yeah. No, not, not, not really. You know, I think, um, um, I don't like, you know, Maddie's kind of, Maddie's had enough music, I guess, when she, you know, when she comes back. So, yeah, it that's doesn't, it. Um, yeah, that, that is, she, Maddie said, isn't that sad? Caleb but, told yeah. me that today, he's like, Caleb was playing guitar today, and I, I just, I know it sounds terrible, but I do it so much, and, you know, somebody told me this when I was younger, is don't, don't make your hobby your job or whatever, but, like, I wouldn't want to be doing anything else. Don't get me wrong, I love doing music, but I don't just, pick up a guitar for fun anymore, you know? I like lay on the couch and watch them. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if that answered your question or not. Yeah, okay. Uh, Caleb, if singing doesn't work out, do you think gymnastics might? I think you're referring to my quadruple backflip uh, as posted on Maddie's Instagram story. Um, you know, I, I could do gymnastics, astrophysicist. Uh, I'm really, at this point, if music don't work out, it'll be because I'm going for something, uh, you know, much better, because I have so many options, but um, that's a joke, hearty on heart. Uh, I don't think the gymnastics will be for me. I kind of, I kind of... Tell audience what your quick comeback was. On my, do I know? When it happened, what was your quick comeback for me? What did I say? I said something about how you did it so I did it so fast. I did this flip on a trampoline, and it, I did it so fast that it looked as if I just fell forward and flailed my arms around. <laughs> uh, but trust me, guys, it was it was really it was a sight to see. <laughs> I, I do. I have singles out right now. I've already dropped two singles, uh, and I've got another one that'll be coming out here in the next month. And. Uh, I, I live in Nashville, and I've been playing a bunch of shows, and living the dream. Right. Yes, ma'am. Are your shows in Nashville? Uh, not typically in Nashville. I just kind of live in Nashville. I've been more so just riding around uh, other states and whatnot. They just asked me last night if you have any shows in Nashville. I said, you know, I'm playing CMA Fest. During CMA Fest, I'll be playing. They I think didn't I'm, know about that. On the That's on the Bridgestone I stage, I believe. I'm so on the sorry. Bridgestone. Hey, now you got your answer though. I, I didn't know that. Straight from the horse's mouth. Yeah. Yeah. We talk a lot about our. You can tell. <laughs> you live with another former contestant, correct? I live with Garrett Jacobs. Yes, ma'am. Maddie. Yes. When I see you on a morning show or some appearance, I'm always wondering how that all gets coordinated, and I'm always picturing: Are you always going in back doors now, or I mean, how are you getting around? No, honestly. Um. The only place that I really get recognized is when I'm in Iowa. Because I think in New York and L.A., uh, to be honest, I think, I, first of all, don't think that they recognize me. I don't think, like, you know, but also I think that people don't really care as much out there. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, I, uh, you know, not, 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 not really. I went in the back door for here today, but that's, that's about it. Oh, we do go through drive-thrus a lot. 
Not, you not know, because not you're famous, because you don't want to get out of the <laughs> <laughs> Don't lie to people. <laughs> That's true. How, how was the Disney experience? Um, singing you mean, up, like for the Christmas parades and singing all that stuff on stage and was it? I nice? mean, Disney treats you very well, I'll say. Um, and they're always super organized and they have, you know, awesome people working with them and the perks, you know, of being on Hollywood Records are great. Um, but um, the Disney experience, what was I? I was doing the Christmas thing. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that it was pretty easy that day. I, we, we, we filmed both in just one day. Um, so I ran it probably three times for the audience um, in the one outfit, and then I did the other song three times for the audience in the other outfit. And of course they tell the audience, okay, everybody be excited here. And, and I think everyone acts excited so that they can get on camera, you know, if you like showing a lot of pep. You get on the camera, I guess. <laughs> a comment to make. We ride motorcycle a lot, and they'll say, where are you from? And we'll get, all we say is Clarksville, and right away they, they connect like you're living with us, and they'll go, oh, Maddie Poppy, this like. And so then we got all these questions, and we keep saying, we don't, I mean, we know her, but I don't think she would know us. <laughs> you are known, because wherever we go, yeah, are, all yeah. we say is Clarksville, <laughs> and we don't get to say anymore because they're asking us all these questions. I was going to ask you guys, do people come down trying to ask and find out where I live? Yes. 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 And you don't, you don't tell them, right? <laughs> no. The day of the hometown visit, people were coming in the library left and right. Wow. And we all played We're like, dumb. we don't know. We, we, don't, we don't know. know it's a town of 500 people. <laughs> but I can honestly say I didn't know where you lived until somebody told me. <laughs> <laughs> Who told you? <laughs> so, Maddie, I have to ask. Do you still ask your father, like, when you're going to cut a record or make a new song or a choice? Do you still, like, say, here, Dad, this is what I, what do you think? Oh, yeah. I get them, I get the songs back, I think, the day of, you know, the day we write them or the day we record them, and I send them to our whole family group chat. And Emma never listens. She, she. I was playing my song the other day. To li I was listening to this song, to to the mix of my song the other day, and she said, "What's this?" I said, Emma, I sent this to you months ago. And she's like, "Yeah, I don't really listen to him. I know she's too busy." <laughs> but uh, but yes, mom and dad and Hannah um, are the best. Honestly, I've just been surrounded by so many new people this year. Um, you know, and I trust them, but. I mean, I really value their opinions. Um, no, I mean, no offense to mom or Hannah, but especially my dad's, because um, just because I've been doing music with him the longest, and he, I think, like, you know, he'll be totally honest with me, you know. And a lot of times, it seems like, um, you know, other people will steer you, you know. What they, want you to do. what they want or what's going to work money wise you know like oh this is the cheapest option let's go with this or I'm going to make a lot of money doing this so let's do this you know what I mean so I yes value my parents the most Caleb do your parents sing? oh no my my parents my dad can he can't play the radio much, much less <laughs> um, no no uh, it's funny, you know, people ask me where I get it from, and I tell them we thank the milkman, we don't really know. Uh, no, I don't, I don't come from a musical family. Everybody loves music. I was brought up around people who love music, listen to music, and, you know, when I, when I expressed interest in doing it, every family member wanted to tell me what was best and what wasn't, you know. But uh, no, no, uh, no musicians in the family at all. But um, they, they love to listen to it. There must be some comedy in the family somewhere. Yeah. Him and his dad are the same person. Yeah, just me and my dad. Um, and he's, if he was here, none of us would get a word in. But that's, uh, that's where I'm blessed enough to get that from. And that New York show with your poppy dress on, you two were touching the big, big boys right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 You two stood out among everybody else. Everybody else was in their black 
<laughs> silvery thing and here comes Maddie. You know. Thank you. We actually, my sister picked that dress out and it didn't come in until the morning of the People's oh, Choice Awards. Wow. And so I tried it on that morning. I ordered two sizes and was like, Hopefully one fits, and the one fit perfectly, and then I ran down to Bloomingdale's. We got earrings that morning, too, and everything. That was scary. And yeah, we almost missed it. We, if we ran late for you to get your makeup. Mm -hmm. We were. Yeah. Yeah. Are we possibly going to see a duet down the road? Or? Well, we need to write one, but it's got to be good, you know? It's got to be perfect. So. Yeah, I mean... I will say, I think, uh, you know, other people might want to, you know, take more advantage of, of you know, because if me and Maddie did a song, I think a lot of people would want to hear it and stuff, so most people would think, why wouldn't you? Um, but, you know, I think what's important is, you know, me and Maddie are both doing our own stuff, so I have people ask me all the time, if we're going to tour together, we're going to do songs together. It's like, you know, we're not Sonny and Cher. Um, <laughs> But I think uh, down the line I'd be I'd be honored to do a song with her. But right now I'm more honored when I get to see her, you know. So and like, oh yes, thank you, everybody. I'm in good standings with the whole town now. <laughs> what was the most rememberable thing that happened? You're so mature, first of all. Um, but secondly, the most memorable thing. I'll Meeting the love of my life. Oh, here he goes again. My heart fluttered. It's true. Um, no, uh... She's blushing. Uh, yeah. How you like it? Um, she's wearing blush. Uh, no, this... The whole thing was, was memorable. I mean, it, uh... It was really just incredible. The whole thing. I don't know. I will say... Uh, you know, the whole American Idol thing was great, but it really was like the people that you meet and the friends you make and stuff that, that matter the most. Especially one in particular, I'm talking about Kate Fainer. Um, <laughs> yeah, I would say uh, that is that is the most memorable, memorable part, is just the people, because, you know, it could have been a lot different of a show if there were different contestants, um, but somehow we all just you know, got along so well, and even people who I met the first day of Hollywood Week who got sent home that day, I still talk to them, you know, pretty often, and it's like, you just get so close so quick, and you know, we were sharing apartments and everything, and so we were always hanging out, and just the, the fun times we had, you know, and on the tour, it was, that was so much fun, just being on a bus with like your seven best friends, it was just so much fun. Thank you so much for coming and supporting me. You guys have been so great to me um, throughout this whole journey, and you still are. It's so great because, you know, when you're on the show, it's like all, um, you know, lights and camera, and like, um, you know, it's like a big, it's a big deal at the time, but when you're off, you worry that, you know, have people forgotten about me, or is anyone, you know, is anyone going to care now that I'm not on TV? But